Банде Гуру Пададандам Бхакта Бинда Саманита Шри Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Нита Нанда Саходитам Си Нанда Нанганганди Радика Чарна Даям Гопи Жано Самаюктам Бинда Банамману Банча калпатору ваше кипасинду бевеч, патитанан пабуни бабешна бибью, намо нама, мукан кароти бача ланг пангун лангайту гиде, ят кипата маханга банди парма, нандо мадво, бендави тусиде буй пиави кесвасача. Кришна Бхакти Паде Деви Сатта Ваттуи Наму Нама Нараяна Намаскитта Наранча Ива Нараттама Девин Сарасвати Вясам Тато Джайо Мудире Шанкирта Не Кришна Патху Падеш Гаурия Патрашо Пракаса Неча Шадану Ракта Гуру Бхакти Юкта Бхакти Прамодакша Джагод Баруна, Дейям Сада Парибхабагна Мавишта Духам, Тетас Падам Сива Виранчана Там Сараньям, Витати Хам Панутабал Хабад Дипутам, Банде Махапурушати Чарна Арвиндам, Ят Пада Паллавана Качанда Биспуриджи, така ме пика поводи у сега дърши. Пуну нам, рагара, со сагара, сара мути, сара дика ме и када кипа каруси. Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабунита Нанда, си Аддейта Гада Дхара Сивасади и Каура Бхакта Бинда. Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабунита Нанда, Сият Тейта Гада Дхара Сива Сади и Гаура Бхакта Бинда Харе Кришна Харе Кришна 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 Харе 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 Рам Харе Рам 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 Харе Аджан ламбита бхуджау канака бадату, Шанкетану и капитару камала ятакшо, Вишам бару дижа бару югадарма палю, Банде ягат прия кару, Каруна бхатару, Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна, 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 Хари, Хари. Хари Рам, Хари Рам, Рам Рам, Хари Хари. Аджан ламбита бхуджо канака бадату, Шанки танай капитару камала ятакшо, Вишам бару дижа бару югадар мапару, Банде ягат прия кару, Каруна Бхатару Хари Кришна Хари Кришна 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 Хари 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 Рам Хари Рам 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 Хари Намами Ганги Тавапад Банкаджам Сура Суроир Бандито Дипарупа Буктин Чамуктин Чадада Синитам Бхаван Рупен Сада Нарана Ганга Таранга Рамани Аджата Калапам Гаури Нирантара Бибуши Тамам Бхагам Нарайяну приямананго мада пахарам, баранасипуравати бхаджави шанатам, баги саджаша бадани, лакшмири саджаша бакшаси, 
जस्यास्ति हृदय संबिहित त्वम निशिंग महम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ये तो निवृत्त मानाक्षताम कुतो भय जगिना निपनिर्णतम हरिर्नामकर्तन एकवृत्तमता कुतो भय जगिना निपनिर्णित हरिर्नामकर्तन गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी जो कहूंगा परम से जगत गुरु जी ने बताए that grama katha to speak grama katha and to hear grama katha that all both the things are actually against bhakti it is very harmful for bhakti it is very harmful for bhakti gaudiya goshti pati shishila bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramahans jagat guru told that to speak grama katha and to hear material katha both are actually against bhakti and it is not like that it is also harmful for bhakti as well amangam avashwasa avashwai samakatha and grama katha sunna grama katha sampurna rup se dishi it is uh, for prabhupad actually speaking shriman mahaprabhu that uh, shriman mahaprabhu has given us one updesh that well, actually mahaprabhu has given updesh to raghunath das goswami because raghunath das goswami path is from the lotus mouth of mahaprabhu actually want to get some special instruction from mahaprabhu he just want to hear shri raghunath das goswami path is uh, just want to take some special instructions from shri man mahaprabhu he just want to hear that so directly uh, he can't speak in front of him so that's why via swarup goswami he has just told that uh, actually raghu actually wants to hear something from your mouth then mahaprabhu actually speaking that uh, actually you see that uh, your gurudev is now swarup goswami your guru is swarup now and whatever you want to ask whatever you ask uh, about bhajan you raghu you can mahaprabhu actually speaking to raghu that whatever you want to ask you just ask him he is actually your guru swarup to swarup ko swami is your guru and uh, whatever uh, i he knows about bhajan he knows about lot about bhajan so i don't know about that but still okay no worries if you have that shraddha on to me then okay one two words i will just speak about bhajan if you have some uh, shraddha on to my words then okay i will speak one to two words on that when mahaprabhu previously told mahaprabhu speaking this point there is a very secret point in this because mahaprabhu has told to raghunath das goswami and in chaitanya charitamrita also and in chaitanya bhagavat all in everywhere it is written mahaprabhu has uh, told that apart from krishna you don't need to speak anything apart from krishna you don't need to speak anything. and and also others also they have to speak krishna apart from krishna no nothing you have to uh, speak only krishna you have to speak mahaprabhu speaking that at the time of sleeping at the time of eating at the walking at time of eating whatever you activity you are doing you don't need to speak anything you don't need to speak anything don't need to speak anything at all only you have to speak krishna kimba jagorane ahar nishchit krishna 
Mahaprabhu already told this that continuously you have to speak Krishna Ram. Other words you don't need to speak. In Gundicha Marjan, in Gundicha Mandir, when some Gundicha, at the time of Gundicha Marjan uh, Mandir, that se- some seva is actually is going on. In Chaitanya Jitamrit, it is written that every devotee was just doing Harinam Sankirtan and that he was doing seva there all the time. If uh, someone actually wants some uh, something, you just give me one pot of water. He was actually not speaking. He was speaking, Oh, Hare Krishna, and just clapping. And he was just clapping and just asking for water. Uh, you just give me water, you give me pot. Just by giving, by the uh, instruction of Harinam, he is speaking everything there. Every work actually of this Bob Bhagwan, it is instruction of Bhagwan. Everything you have to do with the name of Bhagwan, whatever you want to do, all the time. That is the actual instruction of Mahaprabhu. So, Grama Katha, to speak Grama Katha and to hear Grama Katha, that is actually harmful for Bhakti. And it is not like it is actually a Mangal, which will not bestow eternal happiness on us. So much a Mangal is there in our life, then you can't even imagine that. I'll give you one to two examples regarding this so that you can understand. So that you can understand this point. Like Hiran, deer. Like deer actually, he actually wants to hear the Vamshi Dhvani and he likes to hear that Vamshi Dhvani flute. And, and the lion is actually taking me disadvantage of this. And uh, all the, they are actually just by hearing the flute uh, voice, here deers are just attracted to that and they don't know actually it is he is just a hunter. There is a trap and they just got trapped in that. So hunter use this advantage of this. Uh, in the Risha Singh Muni, you must have heard about him. You haven't heard? In Mahabharata, uh, the prasang of Risha Singh Muni, Risha Singh Muni, actually it comes. Risha Singh Muni, he actually don't want to come to any place. And uh, very nice, uh, uh, very nice in musical instruments and very nice beautiful lady. Whatever you want to do, everything was up front in front of him. And, uh, and then Risha Singh Muni, after that, he just uh, become a stool and a worm of a Kamini. He is become an insect of a Kamini. He has just become a play doll. Yes, we want to speak Kidanak means uh, he is not insect, but he has become a play doll. So this word actually, actually is doing all uh, musical instrument, everything going on. So this Kramashab, this material word, it is already in the fifth cant of uh, Bhagavatam also about Rishabh Dev uh, Agnidra and uh, sorry, not this, just before that uh, what is there, uh, what is his name, Priyavrat uh, son, his uh, prasang also comes, he is actually also getting uh, that musical instrument, so this actually material word of this material word, world, this word actually what can what can't be done you can't even imagine also this grammar katha so much prabhav is there so much uh, so much power is there of this material world you can't even imagine that so dangerous it is even one one sanyasi brahmachari they are actually just getting into this grammar katha and, and trapped. Hundreds of brahmacharis and sannyasis are entrapped in this Gramagatha. So this actually instruction of Mahaprabhu just to speak Harinam and not to hear and speak anything and not to eat very nice nice food and nice clothes. So that's why Prabhupada speaking. Those who are actually having Shraddha in Hari Bhajan, Prabhupada speaking that those who have Shraddha in Hari Bhajan Shraddha means that they have Ruchi in Harinam. For them, all these things, actually it is, uh, these instructions are given by Mahaprabhu. You like to eat good and you are actually eating good in your house. And 
uh, if you are taking good clothes that is more dangerous because you are actually uh, attracting more people towards you that's why you are taking good clothes so they will just be hating that jealousy mood inside their heart by seeing you and they are chakshu indri your eyes you are get you want the other eyes to get attracted towards you today actually you can see what the kind your class is clothes are become so short so short if the clothes are not there on the body it's more good you will get more uh, respect from others if you don't have any cloth on your body <laughs> now clothes are so small now that it is uh, equivalent to no cloth is there on the body now th- this whole world is actually given respect if you don't have any cloth now prabhupada actually speaking that uh, uh, cloth is actually good cloth so that uh, uh, he is wearing so that he can g- uh, get more attraction from others so that uh, others can just feel attraction towards him that's why it is uh, written and jiva just about the tongue attraction that to eat uh, eat more and to eat more good food and that udar vek Uh, just because the uh, uh, the person just got fall in the fallen condition that is instruction of mahaprabhu so gram katha and gram varta if you are just hearing that and uh, just to eat more that amangal will come more and to eat very nice food the amangal will come definitely and with the gram katha and uh, gram varta that amangal will come how we will get fallen down in the condition in that condition we can't understand that so that's why ragunath gas goswami has in man shiksha has written this actually asad vesh it is written in man shiksha by ragunath das goswami that it is equal to a pros why because this pros a prostitute like uh, she is actually like a pros she is actually attracting you attracting you all the time this prostitute what prostitute is doing a prostitute is just attracting your mind that's it it is just taking your mind away so in the same manner this like vaishya actually is just taking your heart away from all the things in the same way this gram varta these gram varta they are also acting also actually taking your uh, attracting your heart and they are just taking away your heart everything they will take up what it's written there so nice actually it's written there that prostitute like is she is actually just taking everything from our heart all vitals from our heart it is taking that prostitute and our heart will just get into that that bhagavat katha that bhagavat katha it is actually mukti katha here actually it is written it is actually attracting our mind and will just like a thief will take everything everything will get destroyed whatever is there inside our heart it will just uh, go to the pathway of destruction everything will be destroyed that's why this asad varta is like a prostitute like prostitute is just attracting our heart and taking everything from our heart so by this asad varta by this material word actually in math mandir also everywhere there is gram katha going on in club society what is actually going on all these brahmachari actually are having joining each other and they are just speaking gram katha so this condition has been just made now who can stop who so in the same way prabhupad actually speaking that the jeeva's heart that their nirmal heart is what is their very soft heart nirmal chit to have nirmal chit is very difficult 
they have actually it is uh, they have malin chit they are not having a very fine chit normal chit they are actually scattered their heart just become uh, contaminated and after that it is becoming distorted so in this manner hari bhajan is not possible to do this grama word you are actually you can do how can you do hari bhajan in that condition you just uh, give me the proof of that the first thing is that in the heart of jiva how they are, how it is getting contaminated if they will be speaking more material word then they their heart will become more contaminated and we shape that uh, that hari katha which is in hari bhajan the topmost barrier in hari bhajan is that just you speaking all rubbish talkings all garbage talking you are doing material talkings he is actually taking ruchi in that he don't have that uh, sabhavik natural ruchi in hari bhajan that's why the, the whole material world you can see now this uh, samaj actually this material world actually you can just like uh, a prostitute they are just uh, getting attracted towards that vaishya that prostitute if they are five persons are there then definitely you will be speaking material world there if there are five devotees are there then glorification of bhagwan will be there if if the devotees are there then no problem it is written there if devotees are there then definitely no problem there but if a bonded soul is there if he has come in this bhajan then he can't do bhajan i have seen a lot of time in the temple also i have just uh, asked prayed for them that you should made such an atmosphere in the temple so that it can become bhakti anukul how actually it will become anukul that actually how it can be done i told actually who who has that luck he can do bhajan otherwise others others will go away from this temple so he we will just be whether he is doing bhajan or not he will stay in the temple no worries so they are speaking like this they can't understand what i told actually i told that to in order to stay in mat minimum anukul parivesh is required that i am not speaking that 100% parivesh should be there minimum parivesh should be there in the mat so that this bonded jeevas because they don't have the power to do bhajan so they actually will not understand this point what i am speaking they don't want to understand that so if all the devotees are actually staying together if all the devotees are staying together then they are not at all speaking of rubbish talkings they are not taking material talkings like shri lavaman goswami maharaj shri they are actually used to stay together so actually they are speaking all rubbish talking when they are staying there it's not at all possible but this bonded jeev it is not possible that's why it is written that kapil ji maharaj has told to mati to his mother devahuti but this bonded jeev is actually if they are staying in one place if they are just sitting in one place then definitely material talkings will be there but uh, when the hari katha is there if uh, in the temple some uh, the atmosphere of hari katha is there the environment is like uh, full of hari katha in the temple if hari katha is there if the whole atmosphere is like that only even when you there is no direct hari katha still there is some recording going on there in each and every room in kitchen everywhere uh, in the temple in veranda everywhere that hari katha should going we should be going on that powerful hari katha from the exact should it should going on it should be going on so this hari katha kirtan should go on there and all those brahmachari sanyasis on them there is you should put some pressure on them that the shastra actually actually they should be have just read that there should be some question answers going on at 4 o'clock in the evening so then definitely they they will not uh, sleep otherwise they will just uh, eat and then they'll be sleeping just be taking chana rasa and uh, they will just eat that and just be sleeping so in this way actually that's why that you have to uh, read this kirtan otherwise you will not be getting food i always used to do like this those who are not going to aarti okay one two two then oh i am not providing them food maybe in the night time 
if it is very urgent after 9 o'clock if some uh, no mata ji will be there outside if he she is outside then i will not allow him to come in so this kind of rules is there if sub, all the brahmachari should be there in the aarti if they are not in the aarti then they will not get water even so like this so this kind of medicine on those bonded jivas this kind of medicine provided to bonded jivas that uh, rules and regulations uh, strict to given by uh, vaishnavas it is topmost benefit for them but nowadays nobody want to hear they will just speak opposite you don't have any mercy you are actually doing this you are a vaishnav you are no mercy what do, what do you mean by mercy actually prabhupada actually speaking it's jeevinsa prabhupada speaking it's jeevinsa prabhupada actually speaking this it's jeevinsa that if you are giving some wrong direction to, to and to give him a negative pathway apart from hari bhajan and apart from hari bhajan you are just giving him uh, the opposite direction that is not at all good you are giving a uh, time for him to sleep you sleep very you just give him seva he should uh, do uh, some uh, clean the temple or something uh, also in the niti shastra also it is written if you just stop speaking on bhajan it is written in niti shastra also in the niti shastra also it is written that those uh, you have to just uh, give nourishment to him up till 5 years that to that child and when he is 10 years what we have to do there is a rules there at up till 5 years you just have to give him nourishment at at the age of 10 Five, you just need to under strict rules and regulations. You have to make him, and after that, and when sixteen years old, you should we should be like a friendship. You should be like a friend to him when he is sixteen years old. five years you just need to give him uh, prema just take him on the lap just kissing him uh, after that five years eh, we sure like five uh, we have to speak oh we are actually why why you are going to play you, you stay there don't go there just very strict rules regulation after five years so much rules and regulations in the house in the morning also have to do pranam to mother and father you just have to take uh, the feet or uh, lotus feet you have to just take the dust particle of your mother father or gurudev i have already seen that my mother always used to take uh, the water of my uh, father whenever you are there uh, to speak he is actually lazy in ram bhajan and he is very brave in taking prasadam so you don't want to get adjusted with anyone you don't know how to do adjustment with others so this kind of condition has been just made now today so guru vaishnav to, to stay in guru vaishnav anushasan it's very important so today this condition if you will see then you can understand this that so strict rules and regulations made by guru vaishnav are very important in our life nowadays this this condition you can understand now what condition is there everyone is killing every other person so this is the condition now so this condition actually is very adverse and those who want to do hari bhajan actually they should not speak this grammar word and they should not hear grammar word and nice clothes and nice enjoyment towards sleeping eating they should not see even that is the actual basic because the, apart from that bhajan will not be possible maybe that material education of this material world also it is uh, the actual reason for your harinam for your absolute harinam in order to get that if we are actually this harinam chintamani is uh, uh, making vichar in order to get that whatever whatever no, whatever to do and what not to do it should be there well, but for material education there it is written that those who want that who those enjoying the mood and a, a nice nice enjoyment material enjoyment they want for them for them education is not possible 
for that it is written there actually i have already just have taken in the childhood that if the if a, if a educator just wants education then he don't need to do enjoyment and if he do if he wants enjoyment then he should not ask education that student if actually this material education vidya sagar mahashay actually 14 to 16 hours he used to study oh how it is possible see 14 to 16 hours he used to used to uh, read vidya sagar so like it is written there in the niti shastra if you want a nice enjoying mood and enjoy then you don't need education and if he is asking education then he should not ask education uh, enjoyment because uh, both things will not go in the same direction so this spiritual uh, aprakrit jagat whatever the siddhant vichar or shastra pe continuously if you want to what actually guru vishnu speaking continuously that actually i don't have the time to hear also maharaj so they don't have time to hear also one one hari katha till you want to hear so what kind of condition will be there what condition will be there so this uh, in the spiritual world vaman goswami maharaj actually used to give one it's one idealism in front of us vaman goswami maharaj is one idealism in front in the childhood when he just uh, he was uh, read, uh, edu- getting education in chaitanya math in the school i have just directly heard this that maharaj when he used to go to school at that time nowadays actually everything is there at our uh, at our time no private tutor was there only school master what he actually used to educate us we just need to understand that and uh, nowadays actually everything is gone nobody is there no, they are asking for private tutors now at that time where that private tutor was no private tutor was there at our time and in order to get education so nice so strict rules and regulations are uh, morning time you just need to get up and just need to wash your hands and legs and just need to up till that point you just need to educate yourself and after that you just playing after that you gain you have to study so much rules and regulations were there so in the spiritual platform also baman go swami mar actually used to speak that it is very surprisingly after getting to the school going to the school when there was just studying going on in that only maharaj was used to uh, heard hear everything and can uh, and maharaj used to do all the study there in the in front of the master in the he after that he used to come to the temple and just do different kind of service like giving water to vaishnav just uh, serving them all the time and in the goshala also just uh, washing everything so it's very very surprising but at the time of uh, uh, getting results he is getting 100% result how it is possible in his studies because in seva he is not getting distressfulness seva is going on seva is all the time going on and that uh, study is also going on and spiritual study is also going on in material education also going on that school and how to just engage that material education in bhakti that is the topmost idealism what vaman go swami has told so the prabhupada actually speaking that if someone actually is doing bhakti and he actually wants to do bhajan then definitely they have to be careful of that gram katha material word gram katha se they have to be very careful attentive about that material word because she larupa swami pad ji speaking Asakshya, all that actually has told in Upadesh Amrit. So this, this Gramma Katha, what we have the habit of speaking, that is one kind of pressure that will just uh, put it on in the ocean of distress, and our bhajan will get destroyed. 
in each and every point we just need to be careful about this point and uh, i have just given lot of examples at every at every step and in each and every example it is coming that don't speak this gram katha all the time you just be in hari katha kirtan and what shlok i have just started that parikshit maharaj ji actually sukhdev ko swami pad is speaking to parikshit maharaj is giving updesh to him that who want to get nirvik who want to get uh, nidar nidar means who just want to become brave who just want to get out of this uh, material uh, happiness that it is nothing for them oh maharaj uh, enough of it i don't want anything now those have who have that desire to just become brave because this material things what if we we need if that desire is there then definitely fear will be there inside heart if you have the desire of this material things there is enjoying mood inside your heart when there is material lust inside your heart up till that point fear will definitely be there you can't get out of this you can't get out of this because calm is there lust is there if calm is there then anger will be there then tension will be there oh whether i will get this or not i need that girl whether i'll be getting that maybe i'll be getting that second girl <laughs> so like this everything going on all fighting going on so like this if material lust is there i need that the fear will definitely be there in order to attain that there is some auction going on he is actually the two four persons have gone in that auction and they are that uh, uh, that stock is going rapidly this increment is going on in that and someone actually speaking uh, the one uh, 1.5 lakhs somebody is 2 lakhs uh, someone speaking 2.5 lakhs like this auction is going on and uh, they are getting some tension all the time so in this manner ho oh, rajan yogi naam means that those who have they are always yogu yukt with bhagwan like to get in touch with bhagwan some or other way ek nahi to dusra padhati no only or no only they do want to get in connection with bhagwan connection rakhna chahta hai some connection rakhna chahta hai maybe one or other way to yogi naam nikul isliye jo that's why yog this term actually this is a common term yog means the gyan yogi dhyan yogi karma yogi all the yogis just came in this category so sukhdev ko swami pad actually speaking sukhdev ko swami pad sukhdev ko swami pad speaking rajan jai hi rajan these all yogis actually they have just just get, get together and they have just made one conclusion that that to do the naam sankirtan of bhagwan is the top most Ap- apart from that nothing is there top most he rajan he rajan all the yogis actually have just uh, get together we cheater and they have just come to that conclusion those who are abhilashi all they are just uh, get together and just for you for all the yogis top most uh, harinam sankirtan is the top most there are a lot of yogis uh, for all the yogis it is top most for all the yogis harinam sankirtan is the top most those who want to get a yog yukt with bhagwan they for them for them for these yogis harinam sankirtan is the top most and it is also uh, spoken like this that all those rishi munis those all yogi gyanis those who become yogi of the bhagwan they have this duty to do harinam sankirtan uh, apart from this nothing is top most for those yogis that is the top most thing to do harinam sankirtan for them 
for these people they just have made a conclusion on all the shastras that harinam is the topmost thing so we have just seen here that uh, previously we, yesterday we were just discussing we just came to this point that uh, in a very normal way that uh, we were discussing about 10 ways of nama prath and we have just talking most from sadhu ninda that blaspheming the sadhu and uh, and the uh, shiv and other demigods they are equivalent to bhagwan and uh, vaishya buddhi and guru ragya and you are just blaspheming shastras and hari naam is hari naam is equal and nothing is there in hari naam only hari naam actually is glorified just like that and that is actually aparadh and to just uh, hari naam is just an alternation for uh, or with hari naam actually we can get material things like this it is aparadh and with the prabhav of now you are just doing more sinful activities that is aparadh and to do to do whatever shubh karma you are doing uh, material activities you are doing you just need to uh, think naam is all the same with that because whatever activity uh, good act, material activity you are doing it is all matter maybe some uh, mixture of bhakti is there but still all activities are material only what everything is matter they just want to uh, get their material activities material things to get uh, in their way so whatever uh, material uh, things you are doing you are just uh, thinking that naam is equivalent to that and that is actually aparadh and ninth number i just have come to that point that those who are ashraddha man vyakti who don't have those who don't have shraddha to them not to give updesh of hari naam to them ninth number aparadh inside their heart those who don't have any shraddha just to speak hari naam in front of them that is aparadh that is comes in the naam aparadh now actually question comes here that those who have shraddha inside their heart for hari naam they actually for them we have to do the instruction of hari naam to them they already have shraddha in them so they who have shraddha and that question also comes that mahaprabhu has why actually speaking like this why actually speaking like this naam upadesh and why on his own he is actually going to the forest he is doing hari naam sankirtan all the time everywhere mahaprabhu has done that and he has just told nityananda haridas thakur has given instruction mahaprabhu actually just given instruction to them that you to each and every person should do hari naam Uh, apart from hari naam they should not do anything now question comes that in the market where there is uh, no in each and every house we have to do hari naam he has to give instruction of uh, he has given instruction to haridas thakur and nitanand that they have just went there each and every one has that shraddha bhakti inside their heart the question comes now so those ashraddha one people actually just to give them hari naam it is strictly prohibited uh, bhakti mata ko written that if you are giving uh, necklace of pearls to a monkey what he will do he will just cut that what he will do if you will give uh, if you will give pearls of necklace to a sewer to a it will be of no use so that's why bhakti mata ko speaking that those people who are kapat they are they, they don't have vastavik shraddha for hari naam for them you don't need to give hari naam why because they will just misuse that they will just be doing tilak mala and i have just got the mala from my gurudev and they are kapat and they will just uh, make uh, avyavastha in the whole material world and bhakti mata ko is also spoken that those with the kapat swabhav they are just asking hari naam from you and suppose you are actually gurudev and he is asking all the times so, uh, he is asking hari naam from you 
from from me actually he is asking me harinam from lot of years with the kapat bomb actually he is actually getting that harinam then definitely he will be doing kapat it will not be having the value of harinam in his heart and he will actually be just uh, making his uh, maturity in his wife in child he will be just uh, incrementing that only in his life and he has the value for them only so he it is actually against uh, if some uh, against attitude has been made uh, uh, against harinam then you can't do harinam at all then you will be just taking uh, all bad things for them actually in order if you will be giving harinam that is not at all good those who don't know the value of harinam don't need to give harinam that is strictly prohibited to give but for them it is not uh, this reason that you don't need to give uh, harinam sankirtan in front of them in order to protect uh, only to shraddhavan vyakti i will be giving harinam it is not like that it means that those who have sh- don't who don't have shraddha that you have to give updesh to him only who don't know who have already have shraddha for harinam he is actually doing that but who what is the updesh for those who don't have shraddha on harinam it is for them those who don't have at shraddha for harinam in order to just uh, imbibe shraddha in them uh, you have to do naam sankirtan so this nitanand prabhu and haridas thakur what they were actually doing preaching what is the actual meaning of that the meaning is that that uh, those who don't have don't who don't have don't know about harinam at all those who don't have any news about harinam what is harinam and they don't know the glorification of harinam at all for them it is important to tell them the glorification it definitely you have to tell them the glorification of harinam and inside them bhakti no thakur has written in other place also somewhere i will definitely have just uh, uh, told that thing that bhakti no thakur speaking that inside every jiva that virudh vasna that against uh, attitude will be there inside their heart that against attitude will be there inside their heart up till that whatever preaching you are doing they will not at all hear that so material tra- attraction is there inside his heart so that's why in order to glorify harinam you just need to glorify harinam and just uh, have some nice acharan Uh, with you should do harinam very nicely after that you should preach that glorification of harinam and slowly steadily uh, when they will just be hearing the glorification of harinam they will be having that shraddha inside their heart slowly steadily they can true sense they can grab that otherwise it is all useless the glorification of harinam you just need to speak in front of them the glorification the updesh who you can give those who have don't have shraddha definitely you have to give him uh, imbibe shraddha in them those who already have shraddha they will just uh, go forward the meaning is that those like the foreigners foreigners actually don't they don't know what actually is harinam what is that slowly steadily just by harinam doing harinam oh harinam is uh, having this thing slowly steadily when they are doing harinam but but if uh, by just uh, speaking harinam just by seeing sadhu if you used to come and just want to speak they just want to fight with them and just want to kill them sometimes just by hearing harikatha they become just like fire for them actually it is not at all uh, possible to give updesh of harinam to them so to in those persons those who don't have shraddha for harinam but still for sadhu and bhagwan they don't have any fighting mood also but they don't they are actually unknown to that they don't know about the glorification okay then it is okay you can give updesh to them they don't have any uh, new news regarding bhagwan and uh, sadhu guru vaishnav but in order to just fight with sadhu guru vaishnav and just to kill them for them this harina updesh is not possible for those who are shraddha hin vyakti those who are shraddha man shraddha man what do you mean shraddha man means those who after hearing harinam also they are just becoming angry that is a shraddha man definitely you have to give harinam to a shraddha man vyakti only you just know if he is he don't know anything he just need to give updesh to them only 
and those are shraddha one vyakti not to give hari naam to them means that ashraddha means those who have vidvesh inside their heart who have they don't have fighting mood with sadhu guru vaishnav not to give to them that is ashraddha one vyakti that is ashraddha one those who have uh, they haven't heard about the glorification of hari naam before okay but uh, but no not to give to ashraddha one vyakti it means this otherwise who, all the, in the whole world they don't have shraddha on hari naam you know it's not like that you just uh, it's like this what i already told we have already seen the conclusion that guru avagya ashraddha man vyakti that uh, shraddha man vyakti should not be given hari naam and after hearing the glorification of hari naam and you have uh, not confidence 100% co- grow, 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 grow confidence on hari naam there is one thing he don't know he is unknown about the glorification okay it's uh, they can get mangal some day that is why it is written that is actually hari naam no the ajamil prasang which we will be discussing definitely we will be discussing it in full uh, today actually disturbance is going on all the all in all four direction how we can discuss so that's why in bhagavad ji mahapuran what is written in bhagavad ji that is the authentic shastra that is praman mamalam that is the topmost praman topmost uh, proof this mahab in this bhagavad ji mahapuran if it is written then you definitely have to uh, then definitely have to hear that in those people they don't have shraddha i will i will just tell you i'll just to speak about the jamil prasang as well in details that why actually our guru varg has this vidhan has this instructions for us has these instructions for us why chaitanya mahaprabhu has done nagar sankirtan why he used to do why nagar sankirtan uh, mahaprabhu used to do for nagar sankirtan like all other all every person has shraddha one for them or for those people who are not shraddha one they are ashraddha one just be careful about this point what mahaprabhu actually used to go to nagar sankirtan why he used to go for nagar those who are actually bonded devas they don't know have any confidence on uh, hari katha hari kirtan for them also they used to go and our guru varg like param puja ba madhav goswami maharaj and bhakti balak tirth goswami maharaj all actually they used to go to to kirtan for what purpose for all those shraddhavan vyakti for all those shraddhavan people or they are ashraddhavan there is a one se- hidden secret in this i just actually have uh, spoken this but uh, everyone just became angry with me that okay no worries hari naam sankirtan is going on but bhakti no thakur also has uh, uh, shown us this which are what i have what i told bhakti no thakur actually i am speaking that what bhakti no thakur told but actually i don't know that bhakti no thakur has also spoken like this bhakti no thakur has spoken the same thing what i am speaking just by the kripa bhakti no thakur i am speaking the bhakti no thakur speaking that in the nagar sankirtan if you want to go bhakti no thakur speaking that if you want to go to nagar sankirtan then in this nagar sankirtan in this party you just need to go under the guidance of a mahapurush there one mahapurush like bhakti balav tirth ko swami maharaj is there he they always used to go with us why because whatever is coming from his tongue whatever that hari naam is going from his tongue is that is a prakrit and we are just uh, running behind them so what actually maharaj is doing kirtan we are also also doing that so this bhakti no thakur speaking that in this naam sankirtan when you are going to nagar sankirtan definitely one mahapurush should be there because his sound vibration has so much enormous power that all those bonded jeevas those who are going definitely that aprakrit shabd bram will go in their ears and some reaction they will feel inside their heart after that sh- reaction their shraddha will just get uh, uh, increase and they will just be coming to mat and just be going downward there there are lot of enormous examples about, about this so like this 
this Nam Sankirtan in the party of Nam Sankirtan, if there is no Mahapurush, all are bonded jivas, then the Nam Sankirtan is of no use because that is material sound. Who will actually hear that? And if, you, if someone will hear, what will happen? Nothing will happen because whatever Nagar Sankirtan you have done, what is the after effect? What will be the after result of that? Because you are also material and your Kirtan, what you are doing is also a material. All those bonded you are actually going on there, it is going in their ears. So the opposite result will be there. They can't even understand that. You just don't become angry with that. That is the actual thing. So when actually is going, uh, doing uh, Kirtan, actually that material, Brahmachari and materials, they don't have any uh, after effect on them. In reverse, negative thing will be there. Because what if they will not do Sankirtan, that will be more good. Because they are, they are himself was having lust inside their heart. They are Kamuk. There is so much calm inside their heart. He is actually going outside. And in his Sankirtan, more contamination will be there. If in front of anyone he will come, all contamination will be there. So whatever material sound, more in the name of Harinam Kirtan, in the name of Hari Kirtan, Harinam Kirtan, whatever material sound you will be just uh, spreading it all over because uh, from your mouth that Aparakrit Harinam will not get. So, uh, out from your mouth, uh, the opposite condition will be done. There will be negative uh, uh, things all around uh, because you haven't paid f attention to that. It is already written in the Shastras. It is already written there that with Harinam, with Harinam Chintamani it is there, then okay. Then we can, we are actually getting it wrong to understand. We are, we don't want to actually apply it in our life uh, and we are not thinking about this uh, in our life. In the Padma Puran it is written, clearly it is written there. It is written there. Those who are a Vaishnav, when you are just uh, hearing Harikatha, Kirtan from the mouth of a Vaishnav, you don't need to hear that. When you will hear that, you will go in the opposite direction. Like a snake, very poisonous snake, he is actually just taking milk. In a, he is actually just taking the milk in the milk pot. And But milk is an idle food, is very good for uh, health. It's a very healthy drink, but still, but uh, that uh, after getting that venomous snake is just uh, putting his mouth in that. So if you just hearing material, Harikatha uh, from a material person, maybe you are just doing thousands of rupees in that and you are giving, uh, whether you are going in Bombay, Delhi, wherever you go, if you are hearing it from a material person, nothing will happen. You, you will get opposite result. Nothing will happen and matter will just go on increasing inside your heart. In Madras, Delhi, wherever you go, nothing will happen. So, this is not at all the duty, not at all the duty to hear from a Vaishnav. Like a snake who is just uh, making his mouth in the milk pot, he definitely death will come. Knowingly or unknowingly, if you are taking that milk, definitely you will die. And it is also written there in somewhere else that when you are just taking Mantra Upadesh from the Avashnav's mouth, who is not at all Vaishnav. So, so much sloka actually we have discussed in Padma Puran it is written and other sloka is also written. And I am just speaking the other sloka as well. Just be careful. Be attentive about this point. From the mouth of a Vaishnav, if you are just uh, whatever you are getting from his mouth, that mantra, definitely you will get hell. Those who are actually oh, very fraudster, who are foolish number one, they are makkar. Just to take mantra from them, definitely be sure about them. Definitely be sure. Just open your ears. Definitely they will get hell. Definitely. A lot of slokes are there. 
It is written there. So lot of examples are there. Lot of examples are there. Lot of proofs are there. So by from all these examples, it is actually concluded whether there is all those fraudsters are there in the form of sannyasi. Don't need to take any mantra from them. That is good for you, because if you will take definitely, you will die from a fraudster if you are taking a mantra. Nobody can save you. So, this is one shlok. The other shlok. And I will give another example, another proof. It is written there that whether it's good or bad. This shlok actually is there. I actually always used to speak this. It is written in this shloka. If someone actually actually hearing Hari Katha and see hearing Siddhant, for him, for infinity period, he just need to go to hell. Definitely, he is to go for to hell for infinity period. This shloka actually always used to speak. I am not actually remembering that now. So okay, whatever is there, so it is written there that apasiddhant and apavichar, those who are doing apasiddhant, those who all the time speaking that apavichar and apasiddhant, if they will be just doing harikatha kirtan, then definitely there will be a big problem. Very dangerous situation can come. And it is written there. Those who are not, those who are in Swayam Acharan, they are just pratishtin in that Acharan. Then with that Acharan, they are speaking Harikatha in front of others. If they don't have Acharan, they are not speaking Harikatha. And there are a lot of examples. Those people. Those people are Anyayavad, they are actually Siddhant Virod. They are speaking Siddhant Virod, they are just speaking lie. And they are just going to foreign country, just speaking lie. For them it is written there. Those, those people. It is written in Hari Bhakti Vilas. That those people with the very uh, fraudster, he is just speaking lie. And Siddhant which are in front of her and those who are hearing that uh, lie, definitely for infinity period, both of them has to go to hell for infinity period. Jo Bhakti means what was, who is actually speaking Bhakti. Bhakti is means it's not Vyakti. That is Bhakti. Bhakti means who is the who is speaking. Those, that person who is actually speaking uh, with the uh, Appa Siddhanta. They, both of them, those who are hearing, definitely they will be going to uh, hell for infinity period. He will get that hell. Definitely he will get to the hell for infinity. Mahadev also, Shankar Bhagavan speaking in Puran. Lot of examples are there. Lot of examples. Lot of examples are there. By that, what is the actual Updesh? That at a correct place you have to go and you hear Harikatha. That is the actual Updesh written. You can go according to your whimsical mind. It is not like that. At that place where actually it is against, it is not at all anukul for Hari Bhakti and Kirtan. You don't need to go there. There are a lot of people at uh, in those days actually they used to ask Prabhupada that you are actually speaking, you, you don't go there, don't go there. Where they don't go there, then where we should go? Prabhupada actually, they actually asking question. That actually you are actually so strict rules and regulations are there that you should not go there, then where we should go? 
Prabhupada actually speaking, you see, where, where actually minimum to minimum Nama Prad is not there. They are not doing Kirtan of Nama Prad. At least minimum there is Nama Bhas. There you, shan, you can go. Externally, actually there is some Nagar Sankirtan go on. Some Mahapur should be there. That is good. From their lotus mouth, the Nam Sankirtan is going on. Those who, all those bonded jivas who are going, those who are all the time there in uh, this uh, Maya, and those who are just singing from the building, definitely they will get some reaction inside their heart. They will definitely, definitely get some Shraddha inside their heart. Otherwise, if the bonded jiva will be doing Nam Sankirtan, that is not at all good. If uh, maybe there is one condition that sometimes it is good or not bad, at least there is no Naam Aparat there. If I actually just want to fight with me and actually we are speaking like this, what I can do? Actually, this is my actual point. I have to speak the absolute truth. It is written in Shastra. At least what you can do, Sankirtan, minimum that Naam, there should not be Naam Aparat, that proper speaking. Okay. You are doing Naam Sankirtan. There is no Mahapurush, at least there should be no Nama Prat. You should be, be attentive about this time. So Prabhupada actually speaking this, where there is no Nama Prat, at least there is Nama Bhas. Okay, at least you can go there and do Sankirtan. What to do? Where you will get that Mahapurush? So this kind of vichar, according to this vichar, whatever vichar is there, what I have told you, according to that, you can realize things that what you have to do. I have already told you previously also that bonded jivas from their mouth that actual harikatha will not come out from their mouth. It is not possible. So this shloka actually Srila Bhakti Balak Tithu always used to speak. That at the last time also, that Sabha word in Mayapur, it was done. There also Bhakti Ulatit Maharaj also speaking, everything is zero, zero, zero. Nothing you will get. Because this you don't know about the actual Prakrit and that this word, this thing is Prakrit, this is material and this is transcendental. They don't have this conception. They, that always used to speak all the time. And with the, his chest up, he always used to speak everywhere. With the chest up, that nobody needs Bhagwan. Bhakti Vulatit Goswami Maharaj always used to cry it loudly. Nobody needs Bhagwan. 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 Everyone has come like this just to take enjoyment. Just eat and sleep, that's it. Prabhupada always used to speak. In Bengali, Prabhupada used to speak. What is our vichar? Just be speak, uh, eating and sleeping, that's it. Just be eating, sleeping, drinking, that's it. That Aprakrit Haranam, it, to get out of Ramarva, it is very difficult. If it is actually not coming out, at least there should be minimum Nama Vas. There you should go. If Nama Prad is going on and uh, he, externally he has done a lot of arrangements, so big pendle is there and lot of arrangements have been done, but he is actually in doing Nama Prad. The heart is actually contaminated and he has not done Anugatya of a pure Vaishnava. He has not at all done Anugatya of pure Vaishnava, has not got, has not been careful about Shrat Panta, total material talking see. In he is all the thousands of devotees are sitting, you just speak Harikatha. I don't want to hear material talkings. I don't have time to hear. I don't have any time to hear that. You just speak about your realization, but he is so foolish, he is such a dumb ass. He is so mad that he is, everyone is going behind them because Kirtan is going on. On all the four directions, LED is going on in Vrindavana. You just take Parmana and so nice Kirtan actually going on. Huh. Enjoying mood, foolish. So foolish actually they are. They are just uh, looting people like anything. All the time they are cheating people. No feeling is there. 
just just uh, doing kirtan and just uh, he is speaking radhe radhe in vrinda he is speaking like this shaap kund mein radhe radhe <laughs> if your your father has speaker na name of grandfather sometimes so they are hearing like this very dis- very destructive nowadays so like this we have just seen that ashradavan vyakti we don't need to give updesh of arinam and bhakti no thakur under the guidance of bhakti no thakur we have seen that there are 10 types of nama aparadha definitely we have to minimize that we don't need to do that it is very important and uh, about the anarth i will definitely touch it tomorrow that how much type of anarth are there and by harinam how we can get out of this anarth how we can remove that and by harinam how we can increase anarth by harinam anarth can in, can be increased also there is uh, that i will definitely be tell you because for truchi you have i will be telling you according to that so this kind 10 kinds of nama aparadha bhakti no thakur ji bhakti no thakur speaking that this with nama aparadha definitely will get into fallen condition just to after uh, getting glorification of naam when you are hearing that still you don't have that shraddha on to hari naam you and you are getting the just uh, busy in other kind of sadhan roop and other karm gyan you are just doing and uh, you are not at all uh, leaving those definitely it comes in naam aparad this comes in the 10 types of naam aparad definitely you need to minimize that otherwise Uh, harinam shuddha harinam will not get on to your tongue and when this anarth rashi uh, nama parad this anarth rashi nama parad when it is going out bhakti no thakur speaking that when this anarth rashi is going out it is minimized just destroyed after getting destroyed all these nama parad are getting destroyed Uh, when they are just uh, going away then nama bhas is done what do you mean by nama bhas what is the explanation of nama bhas because there are lot of people there that they are doing nama pray nama nama bhas what is the difference between these things they don't know what is the difference between all these things they don't know there is one that what is there inside our heart lot of aparad is there inside our heart this is nama aparad those actually anarth when they are actually minimized before that the nama bhas should be there on our tongue nama bhas will take place what do you mean by nama bhas it means in nama bhas all the sinful activities are just getting destroyed in nama bhas and uh, after getting destroyed uh, we are getting shraddha in nama bhas when all the sinful activities are destroyed all this material things are getting destroyed and all the sinful activities and when we are getting out of this material world we are just getting shraddha inside our heart after getting shraddha we are that vastavik nama bhas uh, vastavik naam cannot be there on our tongue that vastav shraddha actual shraddha after when we are getting actual shraddha inside our heart then that namras then ramras will definitely get inside our heart it is in shastra also about naam abhas kirtan lot of kirtan has been done in the shastra what is nama parad then we will just be speaking about that today only but what is nama abhas नाम अभास है नाम अपराध वॉट इज दैट नाम अभास अंडर दैट वी आर दैट संबंध ज्ञान इज नॉट देयर इन साइड इज हार्ट वी डोंट नो अबाउट हरी नाम एट ऑल फॉर देन फॉर दोज पीपल फॉर दोज जीवास इज एक्चुअली जस्ट स्पीकिंग हरी नाम लाइक हरिदास ठाकुर विचार I am just speaking in front of you. When Mahaprabhu actually speaking Haridas, these all these Yavan people, how all these Muslim people, how they will get uh, delivered? You just uh, no problem is there. Actually, they are not speaking Harinam directly. At least they are uh, speaking Haram. So Haram they are actually speaking. 
they are speaking haram all those muslim people speaking they are by speaking haram haram like this explanation explain explain ex, exclamation is there ha and ram ha ram ha ram like this when we are just hearing that haram so are you just agur speaking that prabhu at least they are speaking a nama bhas doing nama bhas knowing and knowing they are speaking that so they will definitely get being a nama bhas definitely they will be just getting mukti so see the vichar of hari das thakur so top most vichar is there of mahaprabhu then getting lot of anand oh so nice uh, actually how they will stavar jangam will get uh, mangal actually when you are speaking uh, crying loudly this hari naam and this uh, echo of this hari naam sankirtan is going in all the four direction of this tower definitely they are definitely they will get mangal so see the vichar of haridas thakur so nice beautiful so in those that samband gyan is not getting propagated inside their heart and they don't have any news about what is hari naam and what is and uh, uh, surprisingly automatically hari naam just came no unknowingly from their mouth and they are speaking ha and then ram name of ram they are speaking that actually is nama bhas in those actually uh, no unknowingly that hari naam just uh, uh, went from his mouth came from his mouth they don't know about hari naam that is called nama abhas that by nama abhas this we can get mukti from this material world you can understand this point so you see how he is why he is speaking definitely i will be speaking tomorrow because there lot of disturbance today the, these all four things what it is by these all four things how nama bhas can be possible i will be discussing this uh, point oh actually you should stop hari naam what you are speaking like this you are speaking by indication also you can speak and parihas actually your hari will do everything ha huh? like this your naam bhas is there by parihas so like this slowly steadily if there is uh, want to just reduce the gapping of some this shabd this aprakrit shabd will come everything will be done so in the shastra it is written that uh, what to speak about hari naam maybe knowingly unknowingly you are speaking hari naam even you don't have the capacity to speak hari naam you have turning you are speaking in staggering voice you can't speak hari naam ha 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 like this you are speaking still if unknowingly person is speaking and he don't know he is foolish actually speaking hari naam unknowingly still bhagwan is actually that janardan definitely will take everything i will be speaking it tomorrow so this actually namabhas this is actually namabhas this is namabhas he don't have any sambandh gyan he don't know anything about this. unknowingly the hari naam is just going out of his mind that is naam naam aparad is very dangerous by naam aparad lot of very dangerous very very dangerous naam aparad why the naam aparad why because naam prabhu is you are who is doing aparad on to lotus feet of bhagwan just be careful about this point those who are doing aparad some aparad we are doing on to lotus feet of bhagwan then by the support of hari naam everything will be done can and can you understand this point if you are doing some aparad on to lotus feet of hari naam then by taking the support of hari naam everything will be done you can understand that hari naam is so much uh, merciful has so much glorification of hari naam that he has so much glorification this hari naam that if this hari naam this glorification this hari naam if you are just doing a prayer on to lotus feet of hari naam then what will be done you can understand if that naam which is uh, everything apart from this nothing is there we have just done a prayer on to lotus feet of this hari naam and this hari naam acharya that uh, who is the acharya of naam who is all the time glorifying uh, hari naam by hari katha kirtan if we are doing aparad on to the lotus feet of those sadhus definitely you will not get uh, benefit from that 
you will not get uh, you will be destroyed and you will not be you will not get forgiveness at all why because they they are actually speaking the glorification of harina am in front of md1 and you are just doing aparad on to lotus feet of this sadhu so how harina prabhu can forget you or forgive you harina prabhu will definitely forget you and harina is sakshat bhagwat swarup if some some uh, aparad is done on harina uh, uh, and if someone is doing a prad on to the lotus feet of the acharya of harina then definitely that will not get rectified you will not get forgiveness at all like shila prabhupa shila bhakti mohan tagore shila ban go swami maharaj keshav go swami maharaj go swami maharaj all these they are actually lot of people have just uh, uh, blasphemed them lot of uh, disciple of prabhupad have just blasphemed them. they are actually just uh, went to foreign country and they have done nothing i have already from 12 to 14 years back i have just uh, uh, pra- done one book but all those uh, temple and goriamat people they are all actually uh, foolish they are actually just uh, uh, hide that book because they will not be getting that position in that society that's why they have done this kind of heinous activity in our own temple lot of uh, foolish people are there so where to go so like this everything is going on so if you will be doing a prada on to the lotus feet the who are going the glorification of roop naam gun naam they are glorifying that uh, in this whole material world if you are doing a prada on to the lotus feet then definitely bhagwan definitely will not uh, forgive you at all just be sure about that so this nama bhas i have just uh, told about uh, have some idea about this and nama prad what do you mean by nama prad nama prad means that he has got that sambandh and you know hari nam what it is but still you have misused hari nam and you have just you are t- making the gurudev all the temple of gurudev into business you are engaging gurudev in all the land property of gurudev in business everything in business you are engaging that is aparad hari katha also in business everything in business so this actually everything is what naam aparad uh, 100% hari katha pure hari katha kirtan is going he is speaking oh just stop this just just throw him out of mat mat like this Uh, everything done this prabhupad speaking uh, definitely i'll be speaking tomorrow why actually in this whole material world nowadays so harika uh, harikatha kirtan there is uh, uh, there is lack of harinam kirtan in our society lot of disturbance is there all the way, all the time in so now naam aparad with naam aparad you will get reverse opposite uh, fruit you will get opposite result you will get opposite result with naam aparad your condition will be like that that naam aparad that for infinity period you can't even imagine that this kind of thing will be done okay you taking lot of money you can just loot and you are just be making foolish the whole world making cats and dogs in the form of disciple just make that battalion how for how much time you will do definitely that will come no for how much time you will do you just go on doing foolish it is actually against swarth panta this naam aparad actually definitely for infinite infinity period will just uh, you can't even fly you can't even uh, think what will happen this naam aparad will do such a heinous thing it will increase your opulence it will just make your mind will make you mad and you will just speaking all uh, uh, opposite against vaishnav that will be good no that will be very good you will just make you mad because you have that uh, money you have that uh, heat of money inside you so so much opulence is there everything is there you will become uh, lot of money will be there definitely that will come definitely that will come to you whether you are getting lot of big temple you have millions and millions of things you have got but still that will definitely you have to go you have money you have just made temple i have already 
that material person is there. He is actually speaking all foul words to Guru Vishnu. Is Guru millions of uh, rupees? One temple is there in name of that. He is actually fraudster number one. Actually, that number one fraudster is there. With that my chappal, I will just uh, be making him on his face. He has just made a crore millions of temple. He has made. This is the actual glorification of Kali. This is the glorification of Kali. The glorification of Kali is so much that still Hari Nam glorification of Hari Nam we can't see. So such is the glorification of Kali Yuga. Kali. So now with Nam Aparad, that your opulence will get and you will become mad and you will just be speaking all opposite things. You will become like a grahasti. You will become material and everything will get destroyed and no Hari Nam will get out from your mouth. And everything will be drama. You will just get into fallen condition. Slowly, steadily, you will get into the fallen condition and become so fallen. Where you will get fallen? Into the most fallen condition, you will fall. That's why Mahaprabhu actually has just given updesh instruction that this Hari Nam Kirtan. When you are doing that, uh, 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 along with that, what will happen? That when that Harinam actually going inside the ears of uh, even Namabas also going, definitely that uh, they will not be getting disadvantage out of that. Still, they will get some advantage. So, in order to get out of this Kalikal, Harinam is the topmost thing. Bhagavad Nam, apart from Bhagavad Nam, nothing is there. Mahaprabhu also has told in this third shlok, Sikshashtakam, that Taranadapi Sunich, and you just need to be more humbler than the blade of grass, and you just need to be more uh, uh, humbler than the blade of grass, and, and if some tree is just getting cut, it, still tree has so much patience, he will not be speaking anything. Yeah, like Haridas Thakur was just beaten in 22 markets, but still he was all the time thinking of a mangal of others. So he is actually more patient than the tree and more humbler than the blade of grass. And they are actually more uh, humbler than blade of grass and more uh, patient than the tree. Taro, that they are actually more than the tree. They are more than tree. These Vaishnavs. They are actually, they don't have anything for their own respect and they are just giving respect to others. And there is one more thing, very surprising thing. And if you want to hear, then you, has, you should have luck for that to hear. That by Hari Kirtan. In order to do Hari Kirtan, at least it is uh, the mi minimum requirement. Those who don't have any Trinadhapi path, definitely they can't do Hari Kirtan. They can't, at they won't over, because they, luck should be there to hear. Mahaprabhu actually speaking, when that Trinadhapi path is there inside the heart, then definitely inside the, on our tongue, that a Prakrit Harinam Kirtan can be done. Uh, everything is interrelated to each other. One is unearth, I have already told. And one aprad is there, everything is there. When it is gone, after that only tr b b person can become Tranadati. It means that by Hari Katha, Hari Kirtan, if uh, in actual it is going on, if uh, someone you will do actually, then it is the basic qualification for him. That is the basic qualification. He should be Tranadapi Sunich and he should be having that patience like a tree and uh, giving respect to others. Definitely he can't be able to do Harikatha Kirtan at all. It is not possible. So what to do? If actually sometimes uh, Tranadapi will be there, then only we have to do? No, it's not like that. Maharaj, actually, I am actually not Taranadapi, so should I sp uh, stop speaking Harikatha? You actually you can't understand what I am speaking. In order to in order to practice swimming, it is better, definitely you have to get into the water. 
oh actually they have just uh, it is important to get into the water in order to practice swimming if i will not go into the water then how i will just uh, be practicing swimming so this ranadha ki suni this is a standard but it doesn't mean that you don't you will not you will be stopping hari naam hari katha hari kirtan so, so at what point they have the ranadha bhi in that ratio according to that ratio they will get the result what kind of ranadha bhi they have according to that they will get result and if someone actually speaking that if i am just uh, uh, after practicing swimming if actually something is swimming aapko swimming sikhne ka if after practicing swimming you just have to you just have to go for a swim in the water when you are getting into the water in order to practice swimming only but if someone is swimming after uh, someone is speaking that uh, if uh, he will not go into the water how he will uh, practice swimming that it, it, can it be possible that uh, he don't want to go into the water and just want to practice swimming how it is possible so this kind of meaning is not good so this tanadipi sunich definitely that vastavik tanadipi can get siddh then only we can become a siddh mahatma that uh, uh, but before that if we will stop hari kirtan that is not possible the amount capacity of amount of tranadbi bhav is there inside our heart up till that point only we can just uh, do naam sankirtan and hari katha according to that if there is nothing inside our heart then nothing will happen at least something will be there after that that we just go on doing hari katha kirtan and whatever it's there whatever hari katha kirtan you have that confidence on hari naam and raag for hari naam slowly steadily today or tomorrow you will get that uh, uh, prabhav provided is there is no kapat bhav inside your heart definitely you have that sampradayik anugatya and according to that according to the shrot panta you have that full confidence in shrot panta today or tomorrow definitely you will get tranad definitely that tranad bhi bhav will come inside your heart today actually i'll just be stopping today because all that everywhere there is disturbance i'm not feeling well okay today i will be just uh, stopping today here ye to nivrittamana nam michatam akutu bhayam yogi nam nipurnirnitam hare namanu kirtanam ye jo this shloka bhagavad bhakti no thakur actually speaking bhakti no thakur ji this hari nam chintamani has written this hari nam chintamani on the basis of that we are just discussing this on the basis of hari nam chintamani it's an open term hari nam is definitely chintamani hari nam is chintamani on that actually on that basis we will be just doing uh, this hari nam chintamani this book actually written by lot of people are thinking that this hari nam chintamani to to discuss hari nam chintamani this is actually the book of bhakti no thakur just need to read that but it is not like that what bhakti no thakur used to speak that actually the theme of this bhakti no thakur what has written we can't understand that so all this hari nam chintamani this book what is written there what is there that we are discussing that what bhakti no under the guidance of bhakti no thakur that is called hari nam chintamani that is the actual uh, conclusion of hari nam chintamani